Typically in most uh, foals will recover from a little bit of valgus or knock knees within the first four to six weeks of age. If by four weeks we're still concerned, then our protocols would be foot trimming plus or minus an extension. Uh, obviously some of the other more invasive techniques would be surgery such as a periosteal strip, bridging, um, you can put a screw in, in the physis. But we here tend to use extracorporeal shockwave therapy, which is um, a process that we used when I was in the Northern Hemisphere, which we've actually had some great success with and, and means that it's a less invasive technique. It's, it's basically a, a sort of high frequency ultrasound um, that you can do in a standing false. So um, that's what we tend to do and we'll do that from four weeks of age. And angular limb deformities is quite common um, in, in foals, most of which will correct themselves within the first four to six weeks of age. The earliest that we would consider putting an extension in would probably be around four weeks, uh, but even then that's quite young. Uh, foals feet are very delicate at that stage, so we wouldn't put a big extension on. We maybe would put a small extension with a combination of trimming um, just to encourage the limb to start to straighten. Uh, that's, that's really our, our program here and our protocol that we would use. So extension, it comes in various forms. It can be, a, it's, it's basically a plastic based substance that will build up part of the hoof wall or, or extend the sole out of that hoof wall slightly. So it's changing the pressure on the foot to encourage growth in a certain way and weight bearing in a certain way. You can actually have pieces of plastic that actually attach to the side of um, the hoof capsule that we glue on and again that does the same thing.